07 Dutchman just rolled in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, I've got some, it's very early in the morning, so I've got some really, really brutal uh, sunrise light going on here. So I've got a heavy light side, uh, a heavy shadow side of the trailer, so pardon me for that. Inside should come out pretty nice though. Uh, overall, uh, pretty fair little couples camper. Uh, you know it's an 07, so it's not a spring chicken necessarily, but I don't see anything that really scares me about this one. I see some uh, pretty fair normal um, use type signs, but nothing that I'm like, oh no, watch out for that. Um, I like that slide awning top around there too. Um, this is probably one of the best kept used Dutchmans I've seen in a really long time. Um, again, when people are willing to invest good money for slide awning toppers like that, you know that they're willing to uh, take care of the rest of their investment as well. Those uh, slide toppers are not an inexpensive thing. I do see a little cosmetic scarring of the skirting down there. Again, um, if I see something, I say something. That's just a policy and a rule of mine. Uh, I like to make these as you know fair as I can. A little bike rack on the uh, rear bumper here. You slot your tires in those holes, and then you can kind of chain them down or chain them together however you want to. Overall, the exterior is in pretty nice shape. Still good, uh, you know, um, shine to the skin. You can see that the decals are not peeled and faded or anything. Pretty, pretty well kept. Um, you know, dual uh, triple entry steps with larger entry handles to make it easier coming in and out. And the patio awning does cover both those doors. Now, on a longer coach like this, that's no small thing. That means you've got huge patio space over here. Walking inside, <clears throat> I see that there have been some furniture swaps from uh, the factory standard on here, but that's pretty common in old campers. Uh, eventually, the original chairs may just kind of wear out because they tend to get the brunt of the use and they get replaced at some point. Uh, this does have a little extra tall interior, which is going to be nice for taller folks like me, uh, especially in the shower. Um, also, that leaves the opportunity for a taller slide out, which means, you know, no head knockers. Again, probably for taller folks like myself. Uh, my wife, she's a little thing. She's probably not going to ever have to worry about the headroom issues like I do. We've got a full hide bed right here. The dinette can fold down. We'll get back to this in a minute. I'm not ignoring all that. Uh, extra storage above the sofa. Pretty common, standard type stuff. Uh, I do like the Jolicy Breeze windows on this, though, the, the windows that tilt open. That allows you to use them in the rain. So here's where I was saying they've done some furniture swaps. Um, there were probably a pair of uh, terribly unimpressive chairs back here originally from the factory. They've been used up, they've been wore out, they've been replaced. Um, so we've got a, a nice little um, Euro swivel rocker over here. You see the, uh, the two stools. My guess is there may have been a second chair in here at some point. Um, and then they put a little couple's dinette in here so they could, uh, probably where their campsite was, uh, this is where you could look out and just kind of see everything. So by and large, um, it's fairly safe to say that the majority of this furniture hasn't been overly used, although the dinette definitely has some signs of usage to it. I'm not going to deny that. Um, normal overhead storage back here. I do like this vent back here above the rear area. Um, since this is where you're going to spend the most, uh, time... This is where the most human body heat is going to be generated, so it gives it a place to exhaust right there. Plus, you can open a couple of these windows and get a nice breeze right on you, right back here. Um, now, one thing rear living rooms don't usually have is good kitchen space, and this one's really not bad. You've got the little kitchen bar right here. You can put a couple bar stools if you wanted, the flip-up countertop, a couple drawers there for your fork, spoons, and knives, and then just some pretty good kitchen cabinet space down here, and a lot of counter space overall between the, um, the sink covers and the stove cover. You've got like a buffet serving line size uh, countertop here. Plus, you've got your overhead cabinetry that I haven't even scratched on yet. Now, we do have central air and heat to keep you comfortable. This does have a larger 8 cubic foot refrigerator freezer, which was not common when this was built. That was a, uh, a pretty ritzy feature to put into a travel trailer in 07. Um, so, I've mentioned the dinette a couple times. Um, not necessarily the prettiest thing to look at, but there's nothing really scary about it at the same time. And let me explain. So the, the little L shaped blue trim piece right here, my guess is when people scoot out of the dinette, sometimes, 
uh, they'll kind of, they'll catch this lip right here and they'll pop that off. Um, it's actually, I, I located it, it's under the bed, it's still in good shape, it just got, like I said, it looks like pulled off somehow or for some reason, easily reattached. I see that there is a, the door to get down in here, I'm wondering if maybe the hinge didn't get caught on something like that, so they removed it, or they had big cargo, so they put it down there and removed it on purpose. But, the actual construction of the dinette bench itself remains unscathed, so again, Maybe a cosmetic thing that you like or dislike, but there's nothing actually wrong with it. Um, the corner of this table here, something, this thing got cracked at one point, but again, you know, the table's still a functional, usable table. And in an 07, I don't know, I just don't know that you can get much more grabby than that, you know, much more demanding. So up front, we have a full master suite with a, oh, they got the little digital converter box put in there. Check that out. Um, they've got the uh, a classic fifth wheel split bathroom where you've got a, a split middle walkthrough bathroom that leads you up to a front master suite. Now what that does for us is it creates a huge open space where you can actually get dressed. You can stand up, you can stretch your arms, you don't have to do the travel trailer shuffle around the bed. One thing I really like in here, and Dutchman really actually was always pretty good for this, is putting that extra shelf above the bed. It's just the perfect spot to like set your phones and uh, you know put an alarm clock up there, and they leave you some power outlets to plug in all those appliances right next to the bed. Now, if uh, you're a person who has one of the CPAP type breathing machines, you can put it right up here next to your head on this one. It's really nicely placed. You're not gonna have to dangle a cord all the way over the place. That is one of those things I see people struggle with in the RV business quite a bit is where am I gonna put my breathing machine? And this one makes it pretty easy. A little TV stand over here in the corner, though I don't really see where they ever use this thing much. I mean, the uh, drawer hardware, this extra little bonus closet here, everything's in pretty fair shape. Um, closet style bath, which is, you know, common in a little mid bath. Extra little bonus linen space ahead up here, or overhead up here as it were. And then again, just uh, being a taller interior, you're going to get a taller shower. So uh, a big tall goofball like me is not going to have any trouble sitting in it for, for uh, standing, not sitting. I'm probably not going to sit in the shower. Well, I don't know. If you've had a couple barley pops, you're probably going to sit in the shower, but that's not my intention right now. We do have a little privacy accordion curtain here. You can cut this off. So if you need to take a midday nap and someone needs to come use the bath, you can privatize that. Uh, so give us a call. Learn more. 800-256-5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everybody.